Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today I'm going to show you how to make this leather looking, see how it looks like leather, wallet out of just plain cardstock. You can get the leather effect out of plain cardstock. And now I almost messed up the front of mine, the reason I was showing you the back, because I grabbed the wrong, in this little corner right here, I grabbed the wrong embossing paste and put some of that there so I almost messed one of mine up but it's still I think it still works great it still looks like leather I love it it's easy to do and yes I know I promised you the um, mini album and it is coming believe me I had a request for this so I thought I would do this really quick because it's one of those quick things that you can get in there and then we will get the mini album up. You can also put faux leather stitching, just some little holes in there if you want. I didn't go all the way around with mine, I just wanted to show you and then you could just use a black pen to fill that in to make it look like leather stitching. So let's get started. Let me tell you what you will need first. First you're going to need one piece and you can, and this is not as dark of a brown as this one is. This is a little bit lighter, but I, it, I think it's still going to work. I think I'm out of that chocolate brown. You'll need a piece of cardstock that is nine by three and a half. You will need one piece that is eight and a half by three and one fourth. You will need two pieces that is four and three sixteenths by two, and then two pieces that is four and three sixteenths. Now let's see, four, yeah, four and three sixteenths by one. So that is all of the paper that you're going to need. You can get all of this out of one piece of cardstock and still have some left over. Okay, our longest piece, the one that measures nine inches, we're going to go ahead and round the corners off on that because this is going to be the outside of our billfold or wallet, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to score it in two places. We're going to score at four and seven sixteenths. Now I don't have, I think I had to actually score on my trimmer before because I don't have the sixteenths on my um, score pad, score tool, whatever you call it. So four and seven sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The little line right before. And I guess I should have done this before I rounded my corners. There's four and seven sixteenths. So we're going to score there. And I'm just going to score lightly. I'm not going to score real deep. And then four and nine sixteenths. So move it two little notches. And then score again. So you're just going to have a tiny, tiny, tiny score line there. Okay. So that is all you're going to have. They're just really, really close together. That just gives you your fold in your um, the fold. And now on your other piece, the long piece that is eight and a half, all you want to do is score it at four and a quarter. You're scoring it right in the middle. And that is it on that one. That's finished. So we can put our scoreboard away and get started on our leather leathery look. Okay. I'm gonna put a piece of paper down. I've got a Versamark ink pad that is really, really juicy. I just juiced it up. So, and you're gonna just start squishing it in there. You're going to make this really, really wet. So just wet it all over. If your ink pad is not juicy enough, then go back and fill it up again. And you'll know when it gets enough on there because it'll look like it. everything is soaking wet. So. I just keep squishing it until I think that everything is covered really well. Make sure to get your edges. And if you have one of those um, Versamark refills that rolls on, you could just roll it on here, I think. 
Okay, that looks about right. I'm going to go over it one more time. I'd rather have too much. It's not enough. Of course, you can always go over this more than once with your emboss embossing, um, well, this embossing powder. My mind just went blank. Duh. Okay. All right. I think I've got all of the spots. Let me put the top back on my smart. And now I'm going to use a different piece of paper and try, try not to get so many fingerprints on there. Because those fingerprints do not emboss well. And I'm going to turn my fan off. Hold on just a moment. I have a ceiling fan that's right over me. And if I don't turn it off, I end up with this all over the place. Okay, you just want to sprint. This is clear embossing paste. You just want to sprinkle a good amount. Make sure everything is covered. And what I do is I put it on one end. And then I just kind of grab that on both sides so that my fingers won't go on there, hopefully. And then I shake it down to the other end. So see, it looks like everything is covered pretty well. If you see any spots that where you might have touched it, just kind of put it on those. I'm going to sit this out of the way. I'm not going to try to lay this down because if I try to lay this down now, I'm going to end up messing it up. Now, I'm not... You can go ahead and turn your sound down now because I'm not going to turn this off because if I if I fast forward here or turn this off you're not going to be able to see exactly what's going on so go ahead and turn your sound down first don't turn it down yet first you take your in order to get those little streaks take your um, embossing tool and see I've already touched it I'm telling you it's really really easy to do So let me get some on there. It is so hard not to touch it. Okay. Take your tool here, and I'm going to get my little pokey tool, and I'm going to hold it with that. And then you're just going to start making some lines through it with your embossing tool. Or your bone folder, I should say, not embossing tool. I am not able to talk today for some reason, so just, just ignore me. Okay, go that way and then start and go up the other way. Just kind of make it look like, you know, alligator skin, whatever. Cowhide, whatever you want to say. All right, so we've got all of those through. And now make sure your heat tool is really heated up before you put it on here. So turn your sound down now. I won't be talking until this gets through embossing. is 
finished, we're going to let it cool off just a minute before I touch it because I will stick my hands in it otherwise. Now you can put more layers on here if you want. I have not found a need to because the more layers that you put on, the more chance that you have of kind of messing it up. But look at that. Is that not neat? It looks just exactly like leather. And of course, the more textured your cardstock is, the better. And this one is textured on this side. So isn't that neat? Okay, let's let this cool off and then we'll be right back to put it together. Okay, so we're back with our wallet. I think that is beautiful. Can you imagine doing a mini album and have, making this for the front cover? If your wallet is curved a little bit like this, don't worry about it. That'll all straighten out in just a minute. Now you're going to take your, lay that one aside, take your inside piece and those other two little pieces that you cut, or four pieces I should say. Now you can put these down just as it is or you can ink them. I'm going to ink mine just because it makes it look a little bit more like a wallet that's been used, a little bit more distressed. So I'm going to go ahead and ink mine. And on these larger pieces, the ones that are 4 and 3 sixteenths by 2, you only have to ink three sides, a long side and two shorts. And then on this one, I ink off four. And I'm using a vintage photo. And I think I used the same on my other one. So... And then I'm going to go ahead and ink this one up. And if you don't want to watch me ink, just fast forward to the next part. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I get my um, the embossing powder and all that stuff up with one of these, just a lint brush. If you'll just press it across there, it'll get all of that stuff up off your desk. Just a tidbit there. Okay, now what we're going to do is take one of these pieces. This is the one that is three six, three, four and three sixteenths by two. And this is where this little fine tip comes in handy. You can put a little fine bead of glue there. And you're going to put it, start, you're going to start right at where the fold is and put it across the bottom. And then it should line up with the side there as well. So that's going to be a little pocket, just like for a credit card or whatever. Okay, then you're going to put the other one on top of that one. So you're only going to put the glue on three sides, just like we did on the first one. Put a little fine bead, and if you can, if you can go straight, let me know, because I sure can't. My hand goes all over the place. A little fine bead of glue, put this one down right on top of that one, lining it up at the bottom and the sides. Press all of that down. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put it on three sides. <laughs> Mine looks like a road map. Okay. I have that shaky hand syndrome. Okay, press that down, lining it up. And then you're ready for your next little piece. Put your glue on three sides. You can use score tape on this, but when you put something in your pocket, sometimes the score tape will make it stick. So like if you put a little gift card or whatever in the pocket, sometimes that score tape will stick to it. So, Okay, so there is the inside. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this 
and we're going to put um, we're going to make an L. We're going to put our glue down on the bottom. Make sure you've got it the right way up. That you're not putting glue on the top because you're going to leave the top open. So see, there's my this is my top, and then I'm going to put glue down this side and then across the bottom. I'm also going to put a little bit on that fold right there. And then you're going to fold your wallet part up. You need to put this together with it folded. Don't try to lay it out flat and put it together or your wallet will not work right. Okay, get it about where you think you're going to want it. Press everything down. Hopefully mine was straight because I really didn't even look in there. Alright, then you can open it up. Eh, it was almost straight. So there you have your little faux wallet. You could put your, and it's not completely glued yet, so I'm not going to open it wide, but put your dollar bills in there or your $20 bills or whatever you want to give dad. You can put gift cards in here. They, this is just the right side for, size for little gift cards and I don't think I have one right here on my desk. Let's just grab a tag. So you can put little gift cards in here for dad. And you could always stamp you know, something in there like Happy Father's Day or something like that. Or you could put his name or initials on the outside. If you heat this embossing powder up again, put a little bit more on there, you could probably stamp, you know, his name in there. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that. But, see, once you put the inside in there, it makes it lay down flat. It's not bulking, you know, twisting up at the ends. But there is your faux wallet, faux leather wallet for Dad. I think it is absolutely adorable. Put your money in here. Whatever in there. Gift cards. You can put his name on it. So that is it, guys. That is how you make faux leather. And I'm going to hold it pretty close so that you can get a good look at it. Looks like leather to me. I think it would fool someone. And it feels like it, too. And I think you could probably use any color you wanted to do this. You wouldn't have to use brown. I just happened to use a brown just because it showed up a little bit better. But So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I promise you I will be back tomorrow with a tutorial on the mini album. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.